Hello, in this quick tutorial we're going to learn how to install and get started with the 3D Bazaar. So to install it, there are two options. The first one is to download the installer and install it manually. And the other one is to install it directly through the extension warehouse. So to install it manually, simply go to lindale.io slash 3D Bazaar and then click on this button and click on this link here. It will download the installer. It's actually an RBZ file. So don't try to execute it, but simply open SketchUp and then go to the extension manager. And at the bottom here, click on install extension. Then browse to the, the RBZ file that you just downloaded. And it will in install the extension. Here you can see we have the toolbar that appeared. Uh, you may have a pop-up asking if you uh, trust the source and if you actually want to install it. In that case, simply click yes. The other way to install the three bazaar extension is simply to go to the extension warehouse and then search for 3D bazaar. And here click on install. Here click yes. And we can see that the extension has been installed correctly. Here the toolbar hasn't appeared by itself, but simply right click on a blank spot and you you can see 3D Bazaar in the list. Now to access it, uh, we can simply simply click on the toolbar or we can go to extensions and 3D Bazaar. The first time you open the extension, you will end on the marketplace section. Here you have access to hundreds of really high quality assets which are render ready out of the box. It has a really powerful search engine so just feel free to type any keyword you want and you, you will probably find what you are looking for. But first, let's take a look at the free assets. Simply click on the free checkbox here and you will have access to all the free assets in the marketplace. Now I, I will show you how to download an important asset. So simply click on it. And here at the bottom, you need to choose a geometry type. There are four possible geometry types which are default, high poly, low poly, and proxy. For each type, you can see which render engines are supported for this particular asset. So in this case, I will choose proxy because I will render with V-Ray. Here you can change the download location if you want to, but I will leave the default and simply click on download. Now that the proxy package has been downloaded, we need to select a file that we want to import. I will try the first one and simply, simply click on import. And there we go, we have our proxy. And the 3D Bazaar extension has taken care of relinking all the maps and proxies so you don't have to do it manually. I can simply start a render now. One more thing. When you want to buy an, an asset or simply download one, make sure that the proxies and materials are supported by your render engine. Most of the assets in the marketplace support V-Ray, Enscape, and Thea, but not all of them, so make sure you double check before buying something. If you already have a lot of SketchUp models on your disk, you can use the 3D Bazaar to manage and search inside your local library. To do so, simply go to the local section here. And here you can see I already have one asset, which is the one that I have downloaded. But I can click on Add Folder here or here and select a folder which contains a lot of SketchUp models. The extension will now scan and display 
the the whole content of the folder that I just selected. And now I can import any of these SketchUp models the same way that we did before. I can open it and click on import or more simply you can also click here on the the import icon. You don't have to open the content overlay if you don't want to. So for instance, let's import this one. And that's it.